My name's Griff, and uh, I was involved in the 2004, the original, um, the original gala to help Helen House. And I remember Tom came to me, because Tom Morris was directing it, but <laughs> Tom had been the, the sort of guy, the organiser, and he'd agreed to bring together a number of people to do this. And obviously, as is often the way with these, these events, he turned to friends who he felt possibly owed him a favour of one kind or another, uh, and we all rolled up to do it. I did remember that I had done a charity gala a few years before for Griff Rhys jones um, in Cambridge, and that he'd done quite a lot of those things and knew how to do them. So I thought, well, I'm calling him, uh, and roped him into it. Griff is a brilliant man, uh, and he's also a man who finds it difficult to say no, uh, which is what was required. The truth was, though, that uh, he hadn't he hadn't gone to stand-up comedians. He'd gone to quite a lot of actors uh, and performers who who didn't have anything particularly to do on stage unless they were provided with a script. Not a, not a one of them had an act that was useful for um, a gala show, which Griff was quick to point out. They were dead weight. Michael Gambon, Jeremy Irons, Sinead Cusack, useless. Um, might as well just have had a lot of cattle standing on the stage in a field, lowing, uh, bemused. Um, but I just played dumb, and Griff rifled through his uh, his back catalogue of uh, brilliant sketches from his student days. And in our case, this meant going back to do, to do some very, very ancient, I mean, Babylonian stuff, which we'd done in, uh, in, in, in university reviews. And then, uh, like in the Battle of Waterloo, when, was it the Bulgarians or, no, the Prussians, someone came over the hill at the last minute and um, saved the day. And uh, in this instance, that was a bunch of people like Steve Coogan and Hugh Laurie and uh, Rory Bremner, who had acts. Um, they could rock up, get out of their sports cars, um, leave them to be parked by the theatre staff in the tiny car park of the Oxford Playhouse, come in and go, where's the stage? S stand forwards, um, try out some new material, use some old stuff, get, get applauded and... Um, go home and feel good about themselves. And they did that brilliantly. We had a great, a great moment where we uh, auctioned Jude Law's shirt from Cold Mountain. I remember I offered the idea that Cold Mountain had taken 24 weeks to film and he'd never taken this shirt off. And this seemed to excite some members of the audience quite a lot and they liked the idea of buying this shirt and, and so we uh, I auctioned the shirt and uh, then I got Jude Law who happened to be in the audience to come on stage it was great as an auctioneer one of my finest moments he came on stage he took off his, the shirt that he was wearing that very evening in order to model the shirt that he'd worn in Cold Mountain and we managed to get I think Three and a half thousand pounds for that shirt. But seeing an opportunity, I suggested that we sold to the underbidder the shirt that he'd been wearing that very evening. So we did, and uh, Jude very sportingly went back to sit in the audience in a half-naked state. Philip Selway uh, very sweetly let me persuade him to do it as well. And he formed a band with uh, a little band minus two members of Radiohead. It was him and Ed O'Brien and Colin Greenwood. And they backed Bill Nye, who sang Love Is All Around Us. And then we had a drop, didn't we, of balloons or a balloon drop and, you know, a ticker tape parade. And it was, that was very touching. And greatest moment of Bill Nye's life, uh, he says... Mm. Anyway, I'm very proud to have been part of it. There's one evening in my life that I'm almost unequivocally um, uh, proud of. There's no regrets at all. Uh, 
about that evening. Lizzie Pickering and Kate Day, the taller one of the two, uh, t- grasped the nettle, picked up the mantle, uh, the baton, and ran with it into the future, into the next ten years. And it's really their achievements, childish things. This first year that we did was very splendid and wonderful and an amazing night. It really was an amazing, blessed night. But the real work and the credit and, you know, if you broke down the figures, uh, the thanks needs to go to those two ladies.